Welcome back. I'm discussing an important topic, especially these days, hope and optimism, and how we can be hopeful and uh, rely on God and expect His help. But also, we have to have a state of mind, as I said, that is ready to make us hopeful and optimistic and stop being negative. Because negativity will not help us, but rather will destroy us. Now, I just mentioned hope and the state of hope. I said, in order to be hopeful, we need uh, to have knowledge, knowledge, and also we need to have faith in God Almighty. Now, one of the uh, important points about God Almighty. God Almighty is so merciful and so kind that he keeps repeating to us with every injunction in the Quran, every injunction through the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and also for that matter, in the Torah and in the Gospel to Jesus. These books were meant to, as he said in the Quran, were meant to guide people from darknesses into light. The darkness of despair, the darkness of pessimism, the darkness of bad news, the darkness of recession, the darkness of depression, the darkness of losing job, uh, darkness of losing business. Those darknesses. Why? So take us, because let's really think uh, one moment. Uh, unless these things are relevant from the perspective of religion. So what is religion for if it's not helping us in our daily life? And religion has something to say. Is that spiritual power. You will find that uh, many successful people in their careers, in their business, famous people, you will find that they all had a consensus. Had it not been for the confidence, for the positive thinking, for the encouragement they received from their loved ones, from their parents, from their spouses, from their mentors, had it not been for that pushing, for that uh, confidence, that seed that you put in your mind and it goes to become confidence, to become hope, had it not been for those things, they would not have succeeded. That's why the Quran clearly says, rely on God. Do not despair. Do not lose hope. I love this, and I like always to repeat this. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, even if the world comes to its end, and you have a baby plant in your hand, you should plant it. Do not despair. Now, why is he teaching us? This is the end of the world. Everybody says, this is the end of the world. And you have a baby plant. He said, plant it. When you plant, because the logic, somebody would say, is the end of the world. Why plant? Never despair. Even at the last moments of life. Even if it's that day, you still plant. Because you are a positive thinker. And you keep the wind of work. Until, of course, you meet your Lord. That is uh, the best way of looking at life that I keep doing. Now, again, we need hope, but because we have knowledge and we have faith, we build that hope in our mind. So it's a state of mind. The other thing we need to have hope uh, is good expectation. We call it husnul dhani billah. Have good expectation. As he says in the famous authentic hadith, I am as... My servant expects me to be. And when he makes mention of me. And if he makes mention of me inwardly, I make mention of him or her inwardly. And if he makes mention of me outwardly to a public, I make mention of him to a better public. This is authentic hadith. The prophet, peace be upon him, reporting what God says. So this meaning from God tells us that he is with us if we want his help. And if we don't want him, then he's not going to be with us. This is so simple. Would a mother give up or would a mother uh, forsake her child? No. So why are we having trust that our mother would stand for us, but God wouldn't? So we should learn how we can come closer to God as we have learned through our experience in life how we close to our mothers. So this is very important. Having good expectation of God. Think that He is going to help you. Think. How you do that? So Islam of course calls to belief and trust in God. Trust actually when we say faith. Faith and trust almost the same thing. You know, uh, of course, uh, God Almighty keeps telling us about the prophets, how they build their trusts. How, how Abraham, the story of Abraham is a wonderful story. How the trust, he wanted to believe. He wanted to, uh, to, to have this um, firm belief. And God Almighty told him, don't you believe? He said, no, but I just want uh, 
certainty or something even more than certainty, as we read in chapter 2. He said, uh, didn't you believe? He said, no, but I just want more certainty. And of course, he gave him to put four birds, of course, on different mountains. Of course, after uh, he killed those birds and put them in different uh, form, uh, places. And of course, he said, call them now. And they, he did it physically with his hand. And then he saw them coming back to life. And that was amazing. It was more than certainty. We like to see things. We human beings like to see things and like to feel things. But the most important thing is we need to understand that God Almighty always helps us. And the only way to do that, you trace your life, you know, back 20 years ago, if you're a young man, just a few years ago, and see when you needed him, he was there for you. And uh, unfortunately, as God Almighty says, you know, most of mankind are ungrateful. We forget the blessings that he gave us. We always forget the good, sweet, positive moments and always go back to the negative things. If you think in your life many positive things, had it not been for God, you would not have died, you would not have a, had an accident, you were saved right on the highway, or you went to the hospital and the doctor said, you know, there, uh, we have to do an operation, and you came out of that operation, and so many stories. You just trace your life and see where God was there when you needed him, but maybe you were unconscious of that. All of us tend to forget, and all of us uh, ignore this fact that God always with us. Now, of course, these are the things that we need to do. God also gives us uh, a way to make up for our mistakes. He says, I will forgive everything. As I read earlier, chapter 39, God Almighty says, don't be surprised. He will forgive you. I read it again, and again we see it here. All my servants who have uh, despaired, who have transgressed against their souls, despair not of the mercy of Allah, for Allah forgives all sins, for he is oft forgiven, most merciful. Now, the other thing we should talk about is tawakkul, reliance of God. We talk about hope and reliance. The reliance is, is the notion, the concept of tawakkul is so broad in Islam. But in, in brief, uh, God Almighty, for instance, I'll read for you this verse. God Almighty says in the Quran, put your trust in Allah. Certainly, Allah loves those who put their trust in him. Chapter 3, verse 159. God Almighty was addressing here the prophet, peace be upon him, teaching us also uh, to put trust in him. So he said, put trust in Allah. Trust me, he says. Just trust me. You know, give chance to God and he will show you what he can do. But have faith. Don't be, don't be also opportunistic. Only when you need him, you go to him. And this is a selfish way of dealing with with God. When I have problems, I go to God. Unfortunately, people love to go to pray and this. Not everyone. Only when there is a calamity, when there is despair. But no, God is also with you in times of easiness and comfort and prosperity. And that's why the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, know God in times of prosperity. He will know you in times of hardship. And how do you know God in times of prosperity? When you are able to help those who are despaired, those who need help, you come to them and help them. So this is how we know God. And this is the only way to be grateful to God, is to give of what God has blessed you. If you have knowledge, teach. If you have uh, positive thinking, make others positive. Uh, if you have wealth, give. If you have uh, skills, teach the skills. Whatever you have, don't be selfish because you may need help also one day. All of us will need help one day. None of us is perfect. And that's why the support is very important for those who need it because when you need it, it's in store for you. We need also in the Quran this verse, Say, O Muhammad, He is our Lord and in Allah let the believers put their trust. This is from chapter 9, verse 51. Let the believers in their Lord put trust. So, my uh, dear viewers, we have covered a little bit hope, but the best, the best who can give you hope uh, beside God Almighty is yourself. When you think positive, you will be thinking, as I said earlier, feeding your brain, your mind with the positive thinking. Your mind has knowledge and your heart has faith. They are putting in you this thinking and stop worrying and think positive and nothing could happen to you except what was decreed to you. So have faith in God Almighty. Dear viewers, I'd like to hear from you. You could write to us at info at 
uh, .net. Uh, you can also call us if you have any suggestion, if you have any topic that you believe should be discussed or an issue that was not discussed in TV shows or internet and you would like me to shed some light on it, please do not hesitate to email us again at the email at the bottom of the screen, info at fateoflife.net. I pray to God Almighty for all of us to be guided, to be positive, to be optimistic. And remember, God is with us and he cares about us and he wants us to succeed in this world and in the hereafter. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Salaamu Alaikum. Peace be with you.